think I want to do a smoky wing liner today. I don't know. I'm going to prime my face with the uh, Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. It's not an actual primer, but it ha does have glycerin in it. So it's going to help keep your foundation on your face because it does get tacky. I'm not putting it on my nose because I feel like when I do it makes my nose even more oily than it does normally so I'm going to skip my nose. This also hydrates my face all day. So I'm just going to let that dry for a second, let it get tacky. And then I'm going to go ahead and spray my primer water as well. And I'm going to cover my nose so the water doesn't get on my nose either. sheds like crazy. Me and Trayvon, my boyfriend, we can't like wear any like t-shirt type, like cotton type shirts because his hair will stick all over it. If I don't mention a product, I will list it down in the description box below. Just make sure you check it out. I do always list all the products I use, the music, and then all of my social media platforms down below. So make sure you always check it out so you don't miss any information. I'm just going to take this big stippling brush and I'm going to blend it into my face. I've been really loving putting my foundation on with the stippling brush. It's so quick way quicker than a beauty blender and it really works it into your face and I'm just gonna blend it down my neck so everything's the same color I'm gonna do my chest as well now I'm going to put concealer on. I'm using the NARS Radiant Concealer per usual. And now I'm just going to blend it out with this brush for Morphe. It's the E45. It's not blended enough. I like to go back with the foundation brush and just buff the edges out so there's not any harsh lines. Now that that's all blended out, I'm going to go ahead and set it with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to be using this fluffy, tapered-ish round, I don't know, just this brush by Sonia Kashik. Sonia Kash. I really don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm pretty sure it's Sonia Kash. But I'm just going to set the places where I put concealer and you can see it just mattifies my face so quickly like it was oily now it's dry you can see this one's matte and then this one's still dewy so I'm just gonna keep setting
And I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyelids as well. I'm not doing anything on my eyelids today because I want to do a smoked out wing liner. And that's it. Something nice and simple. And then I'm gonna set the bridge of my nose as well. Actually, I'm gonna set my whole nose. Because it gets so oily. I'm actually just gonna use this to dust off the excess. And then set my face with a MAC Studio Fix Powder. Anywhere that I didn't use my translucent powder, I'm going to set with this. I'm going to do my brows with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And I did switch back to the color chocolate. I just feel like it looks better. And then I'm going to use the NARS concealer to clean up my brows. I love doing this part. Literally after I do this part, I feel like a new person with my brows. And then you're done with the brows. I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face with the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And since I do have rounder cheeks, but high cheekbones, I just like to start from the top and go about halfway. I don't bring my contour and my bronzer all the way down anymore. I just stop right here. I never bring my blonde. I never brush my bronzer downwards because that can start making your bronzer look muddy instead of natural. I'll bronze up my forehead a little bit and take it up my temples. Now I'm going to use the Sephora, the Sephora blush in Too Hot. It's a nice corally color, which is my favorite color for blushes. And I'm just gonna soft smile and put it on my the apples of my cheeks. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Laura, Laura Mercier, the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Oh, I love this highlighter. This highlighter is so intense and pigmented and the best highlighter ever. Do you see that? It's so pretty. I am going to blend it out a little with this stippling brush. And I'm just going to brush it so it blends up more together with my skin. It doesn't look so harsh. And then I'm also going to set my eyebrows with the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. This is just going to set it in place. And also, since I have very scarce, scarce, hairs on my eyebrows, it's going to make them appear like I have thicker brows. And just to give my eyes a little bit of definition, I am going to put this shade in the middle, this brown in the middle. It's Toasted Honey by Morphe. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. And for eyeliner, I'm going to be using the 
Hardiest Clay Paint Liner. I'm going to squirt some on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to be using a angled eyeliner brush to apply it on my eyes. And then after I've applied it, I'm going to use this very pointed shadow brush and I'm going to blend it upwards. I'm going to use the brush that I used for underneath my brows and I'm going to use it to sharpen up the wing liner again because it did get a little messy when I was blending it out. I'm going to take some black shadow and just blend it out a little bit more. I'm going to do a little bit of inverting my liner. It's just going to give my eyes a little bit more of a shape. For lashes, I'm going to be using my favorite lashes, the Goddess Lashes by Coco Lashes. A lot of lashes. Del Rio by MAC and I'm going to be lining my lips with Burgundy Lip Liner by MAC as well. You can see it's a little shiny and I want it matte so I'm going to take some translucent powder and I'm just going to dab it all over my lips. And you can see my bottom lip is no longer shiny. You just keep doing it until your whole lip is no longer shiny. I just keep taking different fingers and rolling it in this and then putting it on so I don't get any of my lipstick in my pan. And I am done with this look. I really liked how this look turned out. My eyes are way more dramatic than I thought that they were going to be, but I really do like them. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.